Hey guys, and welcome to the start of a brand new series for the Python programming language inside my channel. So guys, um, in this series, we're going to be having a look at writing some Python programs that will actually help you get better at programming and will also help refine your skills. So this can sort of be considered like a bit of extension, so we'll be expanding on some of the concepts we've learned inside the tutorials. But something to note guys is um, until I've released the tutorials, for the the later concepts I will not be making any projects for that concept because there's no point doing that and trying to teach you every all this info right on the spot so um, what we're gonna have a look at today is how to find the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle using Pythagoras's theorem in the Python programming language so guys um most of these projects will be closely related with mathematical concepts because at the lower level of programming it's really great to help refine your skills using mathematical programs so unfortunately guys, if you've never heard of Pythagoras' theorem before or you don't understand how it works, this tutorial might not be that beneficial for you, but you can still watch it and have a look at some of the skills that are required to write a program such as this one. So we're firstly going to start off by just jotting down the actual Pythagoras' theorem formula, and that is a squared, which can be represented in Python as a asterisk asterisk 2 plus b squared equals c squared. So basically how this works is the first side on a right angle triangle plus the second side will equal plus the second side squared. So the first side squared plus the second side squared equals the hypotenuse which is the long line squared. So how we're going to do this inside this program is we're actually going to let the user input the a variable and the b variable. So we're going to do this by setting a equals to a float. We want it to be, we're going to be working with floats today so we can use decimals. Float input and just type in enter the length of length of the first side and once I've entered that Next, we'll ask for the B variable equals float input. So same deal. Enter the length of the second side. There we go. So basically, what's going to happen is there we're going to um, input the variable. So they're going to enter the variable, and it's going to store that variable into either the the A and the B variables. Now we're going to be having a look at some mathematical concepts. So, guys, I figured that we're going to have two, two other variables. We're going to have the c squared variable, and we're also going to have the regular c variable. Because we want to output not the c squared, we want to output the actual value of the c variable. So what we're going to do is start with a c squared variable, and that will be a squared plus b squared. So let's do the variable c underscore squared, and set it equal to a squared plus b squared. So basically guys, what's happening here is the c squared variable now holds the value of this variable squared plus this variable squared. So we can actually test that out by just putting a little thing here that says print c squared. So when we run this, let's just run this just to test it. Enter the length of the first side, 10, second, 5. 125.0. That is correct because 10 squared is 100 plus 5 squared is 125. So it, it currently all works correctly. The next thing we're going to be having a look at is getting this value unsquared because we don't want it squared when we give output. Now as I said we'll be expanding on some concepts. Something I haven't taught you yet is the fact that you can actually get the square root of a number by firstly getting the variable name obviously. So let's set the variable c, not c squared c equals c squared and what we want to do is raise to 0 0.5 now this actually ends up getting the square root of the number now to test that let's do print c so guys basically if we do 6 and we do 8 it actually gives us 10 which is indeed correct again because 6 equals 30, 6 squared is 36 8 squared is 64 add them together you get 100 and then you square root that so the square root of 100 is indeed 10 so now all we actually need to do is put a little bit of output our program's actually 100 percent complete so let's just write print the the length of the high pot news is 
And guys, something I didn't show you before as well is you can actually um print out multiple things by using a comma in between them. And how this actually works is commas actually add a space in between in between each little strings here. So we could do print the length of the hypotenuse is comma c. And what this does is it'll do it'll print out onto the screen the length of the hypotenuse is plus a space character followed by the c variable, the c variable's value. So let's run this. Let's do the 8 and we'll also do 4. The length of the hypotenuse is 8.944 and that will just continue and basically you'll get a massive decimal down there. But basically guys, our program is actually complete right now. So it actually worked really, really well. So guys, as I just showed you, it's actually not that difficult. It's just some basic mathematical formulas and stuff. And you can actually make really, really useful programs. So guys, this program might actually help you if you're learning Pythagoras' theorem uh, whatever when you're learning it and it might help you to make like a little basic calculator to work out the sums a lot quicker so anyway guys um thanks very much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed your very first python project and i'm sh and i'll be sure to be writing a ton of other programs with each and every one of you guys next time